This is North Carolina barbecue, and I'm here in Lexington, North Carolina. This is the barbecue capital of the state, and right here we have pork shoulders. But first, let's take a step back for a second. This is Lexington, North Carolina. This is one of the barbecue capitals of the world and the king of pork barbecue. A lot of people talk about Texas barbecue, Kansas City barbecue, or Memphis barbecue. But I'm here to show you that the vinegar-based Carolina barbecue might just reign supreme from whole hog to pork shoulder and even ham. I'm going to be trying the best barbecue that the Carolinas have to offer. I'll also be exploring some of the stories behind the food, both the culture and the people that make up this amazing place. With that said, let's go. I've eaten barbecue all over the world, Houston, Miami, Jamaica, and today I'm on a search for the best barbecue on the planet. And they say here in Lexington, North Carolina, this is the capital of barbecue in the USA, for sure in North Carolina. I'm super pumped, I'm excited, we're going to three spots today. Let's start it off right here at Lexington Barbecue. And here we are inside Lexington Barbecue, and Nathan, how are you? Yeah, how are you? Very good, I'm excited. So tell me a little bit about Lexington Barbecue. Well, my grandfather started in 1962. Um, it started in this little building right here. We've added on five times. The pits are in the very back back there. We cook nothing but pork shoulders. Average seven, 8,000 pounds of barbecue a week. And what type of style barbecue is this? Because you said Piedmont style. Well, Piedmont style, but it's, it's a Lexington style. It's just done, you know, just in this area for the most part. Pulled pork, smoked shoulders over hickory and oak coals. Everything is chopped up for the most part. It's a thin vinegar ketchup sauce that goes over there. All pork shoulder. Pork shoulder is king here. And in October, there's a festival, barbecue festival. Over a quarter of a million people come here. Yeah, yeah. A quarter million people every year, bands everywhere, parties. So you're packed. It's packed up all day long. Amazing. Yeah. All right. So let's go in the back. Let's go. Right. I want to see the pork shoulders. Hey, how are you guys doing? Well, we've got three kitchens for the most part. You have three kitchens? Yeah, so this is going to be the one, you know, our line kitchen right here. This is where everything gets finalized. We don't put any barbecue sauce on the meat at all until you order it. So it comes out, all we do is salt the meat, smoke it, we chop it, and then whenever you order it, that's when we splash it. We call it dip instead of barbecue sauce. So it's more of a dip sauce. It hits the meat and it runs through it. And so they say Kansas City or Lexington, which is the best barbecue in the oh, world? Lexington, 100%. Of course. The battle rages yeah, on. That's right. This is the battle for the best barbecue on the planet. Man, I'm excited. We got french fries. We have uh, hush, puppies. hush puppies. Yeah. Oh, man. It's going to be good. Yeah. So where, where are we going? We'll go. Look at all the sauce. This is all the vinegar sauce. Each one's a gallon and a half, and it's all barbecue dip, fresh made every day. Um, we boil every one of them on the stove, hand make every, everything we do. Okay, so over here we got the vinegar, and over here they're, they mix it with ketchup. Yeah. I can't wait. This is going to be amazing. And then we got some beans. Yeah. The beans, best. A pork and bean that we, we kind of soup up and do everything to. Um, either a banana pudding or a peach cobbler. So we stick pretty much with the cobblers. I'm trying. For yeah. sure. Oh, they're great. Oh, All right. So my third kitchen back here. Third this kitchen. Is, this is our pit room. Yes, the pit room, bro. This is amazing. Hello, how you doing? That's Bill. This is Earnhardt. Hi, Bill. How you hey, doing? Both. David, pleasure. They've been in the business their whole life. Their whole life? Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. All right. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna see it open up. Whoa! Seventeen thousand degrees. Seventeen thousand degrees. Oh, and there we go, the pork shoulders. The smoke. That's amazing. Oh wow! So that's the fire, probably fifteen pounds on that bottom side. Uh huh. And now we'll actually flip them over do the same thing on this side, and about four o'clock, we'll flip them over one more time, let them drain out. Oh, massive, look at that huge. Like I said, there's nothing on them at all Amazing. except salt. And you'll see whenever. Only salt. Only salt. Yep. Wow. How, so how many hours are they going in there for? Uh, they'll have nine, 10 hours. Nine, 10 yep. hours? Yep. So how much time before we flip? He's ready? Woo! We're in the smoke, man. Yep. Look at this. Can't touch that. That's all grease right there. I ruined a mini shirt. Oh, have you? Yeah. He's flipping all of them right now. So as you can see in the back layer, he already flipped all those. See a little charred, oh, very smoky. Oh, you just gotta get deeper in here. That's intense. That's hot. That's intense. Hard work. How many years you've been doing this? 33, 34. 34 years. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit harder in the afternoon for the most part. I think my back has a little bit of grease. Oh yeah. Yeah? Good. I'm good? Yeah, good. Oh, okay. 
It's hard to breathe in here, man. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Once he flips the, the pork shoulders, yeah. he has to cover it again with the cardboard. Yeah. And then you're gonna flip it again later, like in four hours. Oh, look over here. We got more. Look at this. Woo! So many pork shoulders. How many how many pigs do you go through a day? 63? 63? We're gonna use about 80 today. 80 today. We're in Lexington, North Carolina, barbecue capital of the world. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's so hot in here. Oh. Oh my gosh. So hot. Woo! Smoke. It smells so good. I cannot wait to try this barbecue. Look at this. Whoa, we're inside the smoker. I don't even know how I'm breathing in here. Oh my gosh, how am I breathing? Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna try it right here? Oh, yes. Oh my God. Oh man. Dude. You got your wine taster? I'm the barbecue taster. It don't go out the ice stand ready. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. Oh, guys, it is perfect. And I love that it doesn't have any sauce on top. It's pure. Super tasty. You're gonna close it now? Oh wow, turkey. Oh, is this a special thing or is that every day? Every day. Slicing the meat yeah, yeah, and then good. watching us actually put the sauce on the meat itself. Let's go. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, this is where they chop everything. Yeah. Oh. Like I said, we don't put any sauce on anything at all until you guys order it. Some people want it on the side. 99% of people get the sauce already on the meat. That is gonna be our chopped meat right there. Regular, just like pulled pork, then we chop it with a cleaver to make it a little bit more fine. Mm -hmm. The outside parts of the shoulder, we sit, you know, the, the brown coarse chop, this outside slice, if, you know, if you'll cut it with the grain of the meat, you can see the grain, and it's gonna have some burnt edges on it, and that's gonna be, you know, that's gonna be your sliced meat right there. Well, yeah, you know, if somebody orders a, a chopped tray, you know, you're, you're hand chopping it. The, and you're getting a little bit of the outside meat, a little bit of the inside. It's a mixture of everything right there. Mm -hmm. And that's about the texture you're looking for. Oh, my so, gosh. Yep. I can't wait, man. And from there. Also, you got a plate? Yeah, yeah. So well, that's just a tray, like our barbecue tray. Mm -hmm. So from there, like I said, this is our sauce right here. We just put two little helpings on it. And then the barbecue slaw I was telling you guys about. Ketchup, you swallow right there. Wow. It's gonna have a little sweet, a little spice to it, a little peppery, but it's good, real good. Perfect, yes, let's right. do it, I'm ready to eat. All right. You guys ready? Let's go. Oh man, so we're doing non-stop here. We got some onion rings, some french fries, got the hush puppies. Dude, and the crowd outside, you have no idea. Every table is taken, and there's gonna be a line out the door right now. It's, uh, it's 11.05, so it opens at 11. All right, then I'm gonna need a pork chop tray. Nathan, you haven't even opened and it's like packed. Oh yeah, it's just every day like this for the most part. So business is good. Business is great. Great. Can't complain at all, man. Amazing. I'm gonna need another chop tray. When do you want me to send your guys food out? Uh, I mean right now, yes. Okay. All right. That, uh, that looks so good. Yeah. This is one of y'all's plates. That's the brown horse chop barbecue. Fries with that. Yeah. Right over the soft sauce. Wow. A slice tray or slice plate over there. That's pork rinds right here. Yeah. Oh my god. That, that's oh my gosh. This is gonna be what a twelve operator. Wow. Wow, guys. Okay, Wow. I get a piece of bread and make sandwiches with it. Thank you. Is that right here? Oh, it's a hot puppy. Hot puppy. Oh, 
Oh man, the hush puppies are gonna be good. This is like nonstop. I'll see you now. Thank you. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, is that is that real right there, bro? All right, here we go, guys. We are ready. We have multiple plates, pork shoulder, cut like this. And then we have the chopped version over here. This is different as well, right? I think so, yeah. And the slaw looks amazing. So like you were saying, it's, it's completely finely chopped slaw. It's not like these big pieces of cabbage. And then over here we have their sauce, bottle of their sauce. So it's not too thick, but definitely different. So vinegar and ketchup based. And then we got the hush puppies. We have the amazing baked beans. And we have, look at that, the pork rinds. In Spanish, you know what they call this? Chicharro. It's like, oh, it's got that nice fatty, like that fat burst in it. For sure. Curl it up, get a nice piece. Crackling good. Mm-hmm. Let's try this. Some beans, get some beans for myself. Amazing beans. I don't know how much you want, so. No, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. All right, so I'm gonna get some of the slaw. Look at that beautiful slaw. Dude, it looks amazing. Right there. Now I'm gonna get a piece of this pork shoulder. So this is not a chopped version. This is a big piece. Ready to try? Yeah. I can't wait. See, that's the that's the biggest difference in this barbecue with other barbecues I've seen is that there's no sauce on top. You add a sauce. We're gonna try like, this nice, smoky, and moist. Mm hmm. Hmm. No, the slaw. Oh, it's amazing. See, I'm not usually a big small fan. No, this one's great. And it's not like, it's not full of mayo. But usually it's like too, super like creamy and mayo-y. Well, you know? Yeah, no. This is vinegar. Mm -hmm. it's it's vinegar. vinegar. Man. I think this is a great combo together. These two. I love vinegar so much. Like, I'm such a huge fan of vinegar-based things. That hits the spot. The sauce is so good. It actually is so good. Yeah, it's, it's, so it's not too thick, vinegary, but also get that ketchup. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! I've never tasted flavors like this. That that is great. Really good. That vinegar sauce, I drink. You know what I love about baked beans like this? They're smoky. They're soft. Yeah, the smokiness. The smokiness is like one of my, like I think. I would pour liquid smoke on everything, but obviously normal smoke is better, real smoke. And mm -hmm. smokiness really, to me, helps bring the flavors out. Okay, so that's that's just like chopped. Well, or not chopped, that's just like sliced. Mm -hmm. Now you have to add. So you're supposed to get this, move it here, and then set to pour this on top, right? Correct? Yeah. This is definitely a different sauce. This is a little thicker. This is sweeter. This is more vinegar. Yeah, that's more so. That might just be straight up vinegar. Hush puppy? So, what's a hush puppy for those who don't know? Hush puppy is uh, just deep fried dough, cornmeal, flour, like. So, is this like another pilori? Just like deep fried? Or is it like cornbread? That's exactly what it is. It's basically like fried cornbread. Fried cornbread? Yeah, that's scary addictive. No, you could eat, you could get, these get dangerous. Cause you can just pop them forever. No, it's, it's, dude, it's too good, too good. I personally love the coleslaw. I'm gonna go to town on this. No, the slaw is delicious. Everything's good. The beans, just put that just on top of it. Get some more of this. Nice piece, I actually like this the most. Yeah, the bark, is good, but I think the bark on the outside, because I'm a huge fan of like any kind of like almost like burnt in kind of things. That little mm -hmm. crispy charred top is the best. Definitely tastes delicious. The smoke in here, the combo. And I love the, the atmosphere here. Like literally it is packed. Every single table is full. People keep coming in. There was a line at the door right now. It's 1120. This place doesn't stop. Mm. I'm so happy we have two more places after this. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So happy. Yeah. The combo right here. 
adding the three together in one bite. Dude, this is seriously good. I think they sell it as well, so I'm gonna buy a bottle. Oh, we love the food. Awesome. Amazing. So, come back. The sauce is so good, man. And you know what's crazy is that we're so close to Charlotte. So if you're ever in Charlotte, you can drive out here. I think it's a 30 minute drive. In less than an hour for... For a day trip? Barbecue capital of the world, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. There, let me reach to the side. I'm not over it. I'm not over it. I'm getting two. I'm getting two. I reach. I love you, bro. I'm joking with you. I reach to the side. I wasn't going to put it over. I don't want to tick fall it off in your food. Yeah. You know, dude, the pork is amazing. The beans are delicious. But the slaw, world class. Best slaw ever. No, I think it's easier to eat from where it is chopped. Mm hmm. Because I'm not a big slaw fan. Lexington barbecue, number one. Are you from Lexington? I am. Yeah. Born and raised, yes. Barbecue capital. Best barbecue on the planet? Oh yeah, for sure, 100%. <laughs> and what makes your barbecue so special? It's original, it's different, it's family style. And you've been working here for a long time? I've been working here for three years, yes. Three years. How many people come here every day? Mm, it's hard to tell, like a thousand more than that. I don't know, it's, it's a lot, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yes. So it's never a dull moment here? No, never. And how's the peach cobbler? The best. The best. We also have cherry cobbler today, so. Oh. Yeah, it's really so I, good. I'm gonna try both, I guess. Okay, why not? <laughs> Dina Tiller. Dina Tiller, are you from Lexington? I am. Yeah, so how has Lexington changed over the past few years? Do you guys see a huge influx of tourism? Or? We have, we are seeing a lot. We've got a lot of things downtown now. We've got a lot of bars. We've got a lot of, we've got an amphitheater. Um, a lot of good things for the nightlife, for older adults. We have a axe throwing place, skating rink now for younger younger people. So we have, we're growing. And how far are we from Charlotte? Uh, we are about an hour from Charlotte, depending on what part of Charlotte you want to go to. 55 minutes to an hour. So should everybody come here for barbecue? Absolutely. And it always amazes me because every time I work, I work part time, there's always someone here that has never been here. Wow. Every single time. So it, it's, it's a good place. And what makes your barbecue so special? The way we cook it in the pits and the love and care that goes into it. And the slaw is amazing. We make our slaw here every day and it's the best. The slaw is so addictive. <laughs> the, I, I eat like half a thing. I still have to go to two more places today. Yeah, it's, like, very yeah, yeah. it's very good. Awesome. We're going to try the cherry cobbler now. Yes. Here's the cherry. Bro, what is that? Uh, cherry pie and peach pie. I'm trying the peach. But you have to get a little bit of the actual cobbler and the peach. Mm. Right away, cinnamon. This is like Thanksgiving yeah. to me. It is. Man, the peach is, really, the peach is really soft. Dude, it's amazing. It's so good. It's like, it's like it's been sitting in it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's just been soaking in. No. Mm hmm. And over here with the cherry. You have to get this. It's nice crust. Yeah. It's like cookie. I mean, crust could be the best part. Yeah, it is the best part. Yeah. So that one's like pure sugar. That's what it felt yeah. like, right? That one's way more sugary than the peach, for sure. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, but these peach is amazing. There's something different about the way they do cobbler up here, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Lots of sugar. And then a little bit of ingredients, then we add a little more sugar. A little mix. No, it's too much. It's too much. It's good. It's too much. Mm. Very decadent. I mean, it's the perfect way to, like, Cleanse the palate. You can also add ice cream if you want. I didn't want that. It's a lot of food. There's amazing lesson in barbecue. Approved. Love you guys. Food is outstanding. Best barbecue in the world. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Definitely buy their sauce. A must. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a Take one. care. Thank you so much. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you. Bye. Let's do it. Bye. So, you know, we went to the best. I had to eat everything I could. <laughs> it was too good. And the sauce, a must try, must buy, actually. And uh, next, we're going uh, over to Speedy's Barbecue. So, wow. And this, this is, uh, no, that never gets old, man. No. Seeing where the smoke comes out of the pit. Business is good, bro. Look how many cars there are. This is what I love seeing. I love seeing success stories like this. You know, small restaurants, still, the, you know, the owners are still there cooking up the food. Amazing, true American story. American dream, baby. No, nah, dude, for sure.
Best barbecue anywhere. Look at that. Speedy's barbecue. Best barbecue anywhere. Are you ready for this one? Floors are slick. Be careful. Let's go. Oh my God, look at that. It smells amazing. You got the pig everywhere. Pig, pig, pig. Look, my, my daughter would love this. Buy some of these for my kids. Little heart right there. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Very good. All right, here we go. Amazing, we're going straight into the kitchen. Where's Jay at? JJ. All right, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that, it looks amazing. Oh yeah. It's the pork shoulder? Yes, sir. Pork shoulder. Man, this line doesn't stop. We got the fries frying over here. Over here we have a bunch of different pork shoulders, the chopped over here. My man over here is the owner. Hard to get to him right now. I can't even get through here, there's so much. And it's not even that packed right now. He said it's like slow. Wow. Oh yeah, tickets all the way down? Look, they have tickets right here, but he's saying they're, they're like tickets forever. Grinder right there. This is just to get it down. I don't have to work my arms so hard. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm sorry, what's your name? Gary. Gary, and how long have you been here? I've been with Speedy's 52 years. 52 years? Wow. The it's original. What's family. your family? Yeah, I'm just a, a family member. Got Not it. an owner. <laughs> no, but that's amazing. I mean, it stays in the family. It's, yes, love it. Yeah, it's good. It's a great place. We're also known for our three Q's. Quality, quality, and quick service. Yes, sir. And how's the pork? Delicious? Yes. Can't get enough of it? Uh, they can't. That's great. You want to taste Yeah, I'll taste it right here. Let me get it all for you. Oh, yes. Look at this piece. Oh. These are hickory smoked. It's a big piece. Oh, love the skin. Dude, it's so juicy. By the way, we follow you on YouTube. You follow us on YouTube? I've got two grandkids. You have two grandkids that follow me? Yeah. No way. Oh, yes. Amazing. Well, Thank you, you so much. Dad, that's why I wanted to see what you look like. Oh, <laughs> as a man. And how's the coleslaw? Good? Yeah. It is. Everything really. Like I said, they've been doing the same. Pretty close to the same recipe for many years. People love it, and we do too. Oh man, I'm excited. And I love the interior. Inside, you have all this like memorabilia. You have the Avengers there. Really cool barbecue feel. Can't wait to eat. I ate a lot earlier in Lexington, but I'm gonna eat a lot here too. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, and the hush puppies as well. You have over here the beans. You got hot dogs. It looks like chili over here. That right here? Yeah? yeah? Amazing. Hello, sir. How you doing? Nice no, no worries. You. David, pleasure. Nice to meet you, too. So you're the owner? Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you had the business? Well, uh, we've had it 60 years. 60 years. Yeah. Uh, we've been here. Today's our anniversary. We've been here, here a year. We had to relocate because of the widening of 52 up there. Wow. So, and it's doing great. Amazing, good for you guys. I see it's packed and he's saying it's not even that packed right now. So this is really good. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We're here to, we're here to serve them. We like feeding people. I'm excited. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we gonna try today? Some hush puppies, uh, some beans, coleslaw? We got, yeah, well, it's good barbecue slaw. We got a little of everything. Beans, potato salad, barbecue, BLTs. We just got our cheeseburgers, everything. How's the sauce? Great. Great? Yeah. It's the vinegar ketchup. Yeah, right? absolutely, awesome. absolutely. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> I can't wait. And so today is 420, so he chose the perfect day for an anniversary. Right. <laughs> One year here. <laughs> amazing. Where There's a debate. You? And if you were saying Kansas City or Lexington as the capital, barbecue capital of the world. Where do you right, stand? Right here. <laughs> I best. love it. But the battle continues. So far, it's the best. <laughs> It says right on the sign outside, you got the best barbecue anyway. Awesome. Woo! Oh, wow. All pork shoulders. Yes, sir. All pork shoulders. Wow. So, and it's, this has been in your family for, I guess, your dad yeah, or your my, my stepdad. He's basically my dad. Yeah. yeah. He's been my dad since I was four years old, pretty much, raising me. I've been here for uh, 49, 34 years. 
started working here in the summer between the fifth and sixth grade. Oh my gosh, yeah, amazing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. this really runs in the family. Yeah, that was my sister. My brother worked here for 30 years too. He just passed away a couple years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Died, but I mean, he, he was a big part of it. We miss him dearly every day, you know, but yeah. Yeah. So and let me ask did. you, what makes Lexington Barbecue so special? The people that make it, I believe. I mean, I really, it's the heritage, you mm -hmm. know, here. Like Roy's been doing this for 64 years now. The other restaurant was right up the street. He owned it for 63 years. Then the state comes through going wide and road and forces out. I heard him kind of telling you about yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Right. So we got lucky, found this place, and it's working great. It really, really is. I'm excited, guys. Pork shoulder, got some slaw, got the sauce, got the beans, got the hush puppies. We're doing it all. And then over here, oh, look, this is the sauce. So that's vinegar ketchup. And that's lessons in style. Oh, man, that sauce looks amazing on top. Oh, it's some good stuff, man. So juicy. And the slaw. So that's a pulled pork sandwich? Well, that too, that's a, this is a regular chopped sandwich too. Nah. Chopped sandwich, chopped yeah, sandwich. Wow, well, that's the best right there. Some people like sliced, some people, you know. Yeah. What do you prefer? I, I like the pork chop myself. Yeah? Amazing. <laughs> In this kitchen, this is amazing right here. What a great spot. We got a couple of veterans here. Roy, the owner, he's a Vietnam military from Vietnam. He went to Vietnam. He's a Marine. I was in the Army Airborne. Well, thank you for your service. We appreciate that. Yeah, thank Roy, you. Roy spent things in Vietnam for a couple of years. Well, so a lot of vets here. Yeah, we got a couple of vets here, three of us. Get the chili fried no salt. Homemade chili. Chili fries, huh? Oh my gosh. I've been doing it since 1961. I've been at Speedy since 63. I love this stuff. <laughs> so, so, and that was during the war, right? Like yeah. you just came back from the war and then you got into it. Well, I was actually working at Speedy when I got drafted. Went there for about two years and I come back and went right back to work for them. So I've been doing it all my life, really. Amazing. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. About this place, it was all just open, right? Since he was just a huge part. Our other restaurant, we had a small room. You could come rent it, family get together, birthday parties, whatever. Well, luncheon meeting, business meeting. Well, we boxed it off, and it's Robbie's room. I have his brother, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we brought him with us anyway. So, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Savannah. Savannah? Happy's granddaughter. Oh, are you? Every day's my uncle. Oh, amazing. How long you been? How long you been working here for? Uh, 10 years on the books and probably about 15 years in total. I'm 28 and I started cleaning tables when I was like 12. Wow. Yeah, they keep me here a lot. It's like my third 12 hour shift this week. No way. We're making it, we're making it. I do enjoy it, we love it. Yes, oh yes, at least we have air conditioning out here. Back there it gets toasty. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I felt that, I felt yes, it. Yes, it is like a whole nother degrees back there, but I love it, I love it. We're definitely here for the people and making Pappy happy. And what do you love about Lexington Barbecue? Well, this is the best. There's a couple Lexington barbecues. Well, I mean barbecue in Lexington City. My favorite here is that it's smoked. It's cooked for hours and you got that dip. That dip's good on everything. Chicken, dip, it's everything. Dip hush puppies in it, french fries in it, chicken tenders. How are y'all? Very good yourself? Good. You had the slice plate with the slaw and fries. Oh my gosh, it's a lot. That's half and half. Most of anything that's going to be here is going to be just our regular vinegar base. But then everywhere you go, some of them put like extra brown sugar so they have like a sweeter version of it. And then some places put like hotter stuff in it so that it's like a spicier version of it. But it's going to be like thin. I like it thicker. Which is more Western? Probably the thinner kind. The, the, thinner kind. the thinner kind is what everybody is used to, I guess you would say. But still, the thicker is the better part to me.
And what do we have here? This is your horse shop. This yeah, is the amazing red coleslaw. coleslaw. Yeah, it's red slaw. Red slaw. Coleslaw is white. Okay, so this is coleslaw red slaw. Coleslaw is mayonnaise based. That is also vinegar and ketchup based. That's why we make ketchup. And chopped. I'm gonna have to try this first. Cool. Thank you. Give me mom. She's inside. Love the coleslaw. It is good. It is good. Super the best. Good. I'm not used to it on mm -hmm. certain stuff like hot dog and stuff. I usually think of white slaw. But Lexington's barbecue capital, so barbecue sorry, sorry, sorry. So what she didn't tell you guys about is like most of the places you go in like California or at most of the country you think of barbecue sauce, it's like Kansas City, like right that sweet baby rays kind of thing is what you think of. In North Carolina, their sauces are like either Eastern North Carolina or Western North Carolina or South Carolina have pretty three distinct types of barbecue sauce, ketchup based, vinegar based, or mustard based in South Carolina. And they're like super, like North Carolina, the people are the sweetest, nicest people anywhere in the country as far as I'm concerned. I've lived all over different places. But like, people get ornery about two things. You order the wrong kind of barbecue sauce in the wrong place, or you support Duke or UNC in the wrong place. Oh. <laughs> That's what people will get up to. Uh, what? <laughs> and so we're gonna drink this. Oh my gosh, that's hot. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm gonna try this right here. Potato salad? Potato salad, man. There's the one thing we didn't try at Lessington barbecue. Mmm. Potato salad? Oh man, it's creamy. Soft. Potato salad looks pretty solid because, like, a lot of times, too, depending on where you go, cause potato salad, you can eat a hundred different restaurants and it's going to taste a hundred different ways. Yeah. But a lot of people use the way thicker cut potatoes and that looks a lot like thinner, like a lot more finely cut. Yeah, it's like a little fluffy. And look, <laughs> so they gave us bread so you can make your own sandwich. So the way I see it inside, you get the chop, just fill it up, no fries, just get the chop. So it's like that. And then they also add the coleslaw on top. A lot of people are ordering this, just this. You know? The coleslaw with the, the meat, the sauce is great. All right, y'all. This is a lot of people start. You keep killing me, killing me y'all. And it's my favorite. It's everybody's favorite. But it's more like, I don't know, like I eat steak fat. Like when you grill it and it's all gross. Yeah. That's it's the outer part. It's not the good part, like good for you part. Not, not, the, not the good it's for you part. Flavor goes, That's right. yeah. No, but this is where the, the fat is. This is yeah, dude, this is like straight pork belly. This is the best thing ever. It's too good, bro. And it's like soaking in the sauce. I feel like I have the right to judge that as an Appalachian man. Yeah. You gotta be thick. Or are we in Appalachia right now? No, we're not in Appalachia. Uh, we're out of the mountains. We're in the Piedmont. Piedmont. We're in the Piedmont. 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 See, I was thinking Piedmont because Piedmont, Italy, you know? But So look, I'm gonna add this on top right here. This is the real bite, guys. God, I love being in barbecue heaven. Have you tried these beans? Beans, man. Just gonna have a little bite. Mm. Bro, this is their first time eating here? Yeah. Oh, amazing. You like those? Not being brought you. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. No, no, no problem. We're gonna be in, in Florence, too. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be eating in Florence. Those yeah, yeah, for sure. This food is phenomenal. I think um, their, their style is so different. You know, and they don't have this extra sauce like they had in Lexington barbecue. Mm -hmm. They just use the dipping. That's Texas Pete is from Winston Salem. Always has been. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just a branding thing to call it Texas Pete, but <laughs> it's been it's from Winston Salem. So all the places around here have Texas Pete as their hot sauce. Texas Pete is from uh, North Carolina. That's, that's hilarious. <laughs> this is the banana bananas, pudding? Yes, homemade here. It's homemade. got your food and your wafers, and we use Cool Whip. Some people use that meringue or whatever. We don't. Cool I Whip? Cool Whip. The good stuff. Like lots of vanilla wafers. Who wants them? You do? For it's sure, for sure. Good. We're going to do this. Oh, I can't wait, man. Look at this. Amazing. Oh my gosh. That whip. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's so fluffy. The banana. 
Love the cookies on top too. Yeah, like nice wafers. That's some good bite. That's rich. It's such a wildly southern thing to eat. So good. It's like so good. Anywhere or just in general, like here. Here, here, here. Wow. It's almost like a super soft flan banana uh, flavor. Mm. Oh yeah. The speedies is good. I mean, I knew I was coming to the barbecue capital. I'm ready to eat. Mm. This might be the dessert capital too. Dude, this, yeah, right? Well, I am done. <laughs> All right, that's it. We did it, Speedy's. Speedy's barbecue, amazing barbecue. Oh, you got it, you got it? All right, all right, let's do it, let's do it. One more, bro. One more. I'm so full. The thing is that I'm trained for this, guys. I'm trained for it. That was awesome. Speedy's barbecue, so good. That banana pudding, ugh. But everything was phenomenal. Woo! You know what I liked about here too? What? Is that they give you the bread so you can make your own sandwich. Yeah. All right. Last stop of the day, barbecue center. Pit cooked. Yes. Some good barbecue in there? Oh, it's great barbecue in there. Yeah? Yeah. I recommend it. That's the best. Oh, I'm ready for this. Last stop of the day, and we have a barbecue center pit cooked. Let's go inside. You ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to be good. <laughs> How you doing? Let's go, let's go. Oh wow, cool, I like this. This is like a, it feels like a, more like a diner style with the old style seating with the red couches. Lots of people here today. A lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, you guys always like this? Packed always? It can be. It can be? Yeah. Especially in October, right? When the barbecue festival is here? Yes, sir. Look at that. Beautiful, and they have the barbecue festival signs. And I think this is the 41st year or something like that. Something like that. I'll be here maybe, October 26th, guys. All right, let's go in the kitchen. So the pits are empty. Unfortunately, we got here a little late, but we're gonna see some of the cooking. All right. You're done? Yeah. Oh, wow, empty now. Yeah, they're all empty. So how, how many uh, pork stores do you do per day usually? We usually average between 15 to 30 a day. 15 to 30 a day? Yeah. And how long have you been working here? I've been uh, been back since 1997. Since 97? Yeah. It's a family business? Yeah, we've had it since 19, the mid-60s. Amazing. And what what do you recommend trying? Uh, certainly the barbecue or the barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken? Yes. Okay, so you're the first people that have barbecue chicken that we've yeah. seen because everything else is just yeah, pork shoulders. Oh, chicken right there. Dude, it looks like jerk. It looks amazing. Yeah. And do you have a uh, sauce? Yeah, yeah. we use our same dip for the barbecue and the chicken. Yeah, and, and that's vinegar with ketchup. Ketchup vinegar based. Ketchup yeah. vinegar based. Yeah. That is Lexington. That's uh, Piedmont. Piedmont. No. Piedmont? What's that? Piedmont. Piedmont. Piedmont, Piedmont style. Oh, yes. Okay. One thing yeah. I've noticed is all the barbecue videos are very family oriented. Do you think that's just something about the area? It's it, very it is. Yeah, we, I mean, we've been doing, it's, everyone's had a family business here since like mid 60s or, or, or a little bit later, but uh, it's just something you keep passing down from generation to generation. You, could you explain to us the East versus West barbecue? Like, what is what is North Carolina barbecue here in Lexington? Uh, oh, in Lexington, we use pork shoulders, uh, and we uh, we use the thin ketchup and vinegar based dip, and we use the red slaw. Down the East, they use more of the whole hog, and they use a more of a vinegary based, clearer sauce with a little bit more pepper in it. And no uh, no beef. No beef. No beef. No beef. Yeah. So when you go to Texas, it's all beef, it's all beef. and here in the Carolinas, it's all pork. Nice and delicious swine. Can I get a fat a red ball, a large, please? Yeah. I just want to get the other. I mean, I'm not going to milk it. That's it. So it's chopped, got the fries, and you have the coleslaw. Perfect. I feel like there's no barbecue here without hush puppies, right? The fun those are a little bit sweeter. A little sweeter? Yeah. It'll take off some of the kick of the, the dip and the slaw. How long have you been working here? Eight years. Eight years? Yeah. Yeah? Is it always packed? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I love that coleslaw, man. Man, I can't wait to eat this. Awesome. Oh, wow. What's that? It's buffalo sauce. I uh, flip it a couple of times and now I got to get the bun. Uh -huh. 
All right, hey, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. All right, let's go eat. How are you doing? Very good. What are you bringing me there? Uh, your friend asked for some cheer wine and extra barbecue dip. All right, here we go. I'm ready to try this. Yeah, we didn't want to over-exaggerate on this one, but here we go. Some more barbecue. You got the hush puppies, but you also have this. Look at the chopped. I love their sauce. I already love it. I haven't even tried it yet. No, that looks good. This is good. I hate to use the word soupy because that sounds terrible, but mm. it's like... No, it's like drenched in the sauce. more saucy, yeah. It's moist. It's very moist. It's marinated. It's marinated. Mm -hmm. It is marinated. It's marinated. And right here is like a... Look at that. Pork butter right there. I can't get enough of the barbecue in this town. DBH barbecue coming soon. <laughs> this cheer wine? What does that mean? It's a soda. It's like a cherry soda? Yeah. Like grenadine? I would say it's like cherry coke, but I haven't had that in a while. Yeah. So I'm going to get some of the coleslaw. I've loved all our coleslaw so far. This one's like a little redder. Mmm. Look how it's chopped. Oh, wow. And this is chicken. So they also have chicken here. Look, look at that. Dude, it is like jerk chicken, but it's soaking the sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like cut it here. Of course. Pull this off. Mm. That's for me, huh? I mean, it's kind of all for you, dude. <laughs> it's like jerk, man. Is it? Oh, mm -hmm. oh so good, the outer layer, and that nice and peppery. Spices, oh dude, it falls off the bone. What's your favorite, wings or drumsticks? Uh, boneless chicken. <laughs> boneless chicken doesn't exist, dude. <laughs> No, I'm messing with you. I like, I like any, any, any of it, man. This is actually super juicy. Yeah. Mm hmm It's good. And you mix it into this? Yeah, these uh, these sauces are different. Well, I'll say this. I got my fair fix of uh, barbecue today. And like the next month. Mm -hmm. Two months, three months. Hush puppy? I mean, I'm doing a bunch of barbecue in Miami, so. How's it, how's it compared to the, uh, the last place? The same? Or different? Into this? This is softer. Softer? Mm hmm A little fluffier, a little area. A little fluffier. Yeah, this is like perfect to like soak up some of that. Yeah. It's a little sweeter too. A little sweeter. Yeah. It's definitely more like sweet cornbread. It's like a, like a sweet pilori. I like the setting. It's a little different, right? More like a diner feel. Yeah. Like you really are next to everybody. Yeah. It's great. We all got the posters too. The mm -hmm. barbecue festival posters all over here. Yeah, and it feels like you're literally sitting in a 1960s, 70s diner. Yep. Well, I'll say, I'm happy today. <laughs> so this is Cheyenne. <laughs> Hello. And you've been working here a long time? Um, I started here when I was 16. You were here 16? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm 20 now. Oh, wow, so you've been here four years. Yeah. <laughs> and what can you tell me about Lexington and barbecue? Uh, Lexington's been known for barbecue for quite some time. I mean, we're, we have like a barbecue festival every year. It's in October. Um, a lot of people come out from like all over the place, so I guess they like the barbecue pretty good. <laughs> and were you born in Lexington? I was, yeah. Oh, you were? Okay. And how has it changed over the past few years? It has changed quite a bit because there was a road expansion on like Winston Road, um, and after that happened, it closed down one of the oldest barbecue restaurants that... Speedies. Yeah, yeah. It closed that down and they had to move. Thank you. You're welcome. So is this the banana split? Yeah, this is our first time here. First time here trying this. Someone said you have to get, you know, you have to get the banana split. I mean, it is a monster. It's like a banana. You have like, what is it, like eight scoops of ice cream? Wow. We have a lot of parties that we get downstairs. A lot of parties downstairs? Yeah. We have like meetings. We had a high school reunion yesterday. It was the class of 1961, I believe, North Davidson. Um, birthday parties, graduation parties, uh, a lot of the local like clubs. We have like the Red Hat ladies. They come and they meet once a month. So wow. yeah, we have two party rooms right downstairs. You have ice cream, so they got party cake, chocolate, peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Oh, so what's your favorite dessert here? Because I, I think there's a lot of desserts. Banana pudding. That's banana pudding? Yep, we make it here and it is wonderful. It has a lot of bananas in it, a lot of wafers in it, and that's like my favorite kind. 
Well, it's the pork shoulder. Yep. I'm working on slicing the pork chop right now. Are you originally from Lexington? Yes. Yeah? Non-stop, huh? Non-stop. Non-stop cutting up the pork shoulder. Chop, chop. Look at that, the juices. It's amazing. I'll tell you, it was delicious. I am so full today. I've I went to three places. I gotta say, every place has been amazing so far. Good. The people, that's what it is. Every single spot, it's like all family run businesses. Mm -hmm. And I can't say that North Carolina people are the friendliest in the world, but they, for, for me, it feels like it, you know? I'm from, I'm from Miami. I'm from the rudest city on planet Earth. They don't even say hi to you, you know? It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, I know. I've been. Yeah, I know. Well, thank you so much. Thank this you. was amazing. Yeah, appreciate you. What an experience. Coming. I'll tell you, when you see the food being made, it always tastes better. And that is Lexington Barbecue. Went to three spots. Is this the barbecue capital of the world? You guys tell me, Kansas City or Lexington, North Carolina?